Hi, today we will talk about controlling tests inside the GitLab. Just because last time when I presented the complex solution, I explained that when you commit something to a repository, the GitLab is automatically building a test and is, is executing it because the pipeline is just, you know, created the way that uh, it is uh, just doing it every time automatically. And if you want to avoid the situation, then you need to follow my tutorial that I created for you. So, in this uh, tutorial, you can see uh, there are um, multiple ways uh, to stop GitLab, uh, actually not GitLab runner, but GitLab uh, from automatically uh, starting tests upon uh, any commit in a project. So using conditional variables in the pipeline file to define when test should be run uh, is one of the easiest methods. Uh, here are some uh, illustration of how uh, to do this. So uh, there are three uh, things uh, we can do. Uh, the first thing is using only and accept. So we can decide uh, when it will be executed. And in this example, uh, tests will run only in the master branch and in all branches starting with the release, but not in branches starting with the hotfix. And we can revert the change. I mean, we can do the opposite. For example, we can create a, a branch test and then we can execute the test in a branch uh, test uh, starting with release, right? And uh, we can uh, avoid the situation that uh, the branch master or main uh, will be mm, tested. So this is the uh, first uh, approach. Uh, then we can uh, use rules. So rules allow uh, for more complex conditional logic in the pipeline, in the GitLab pipeline. And I'm talking about this file, uh, GitLab-CI YAM file. This is the pipeline where we uh, configure the whole pipeline and we can see uh, we have uh, blocks script here and also here and also here at the end right so you can see uh, that we can uh, in the block script we can create rules uh, to control it and in this example that will run only in the master branch uh, or uh, when the commit is targeted with a version pattern, right? So we can do this, or you can see in the script only in accept. So uh, below this uh, section script, right at the end, uh, before artifact, uh, we can add uh, only and accept. And this is the way we can control it, or we can add rules and we can decide when the test will be uh, executed. Also, we can use an environment variable. So in this case, you can see, uh, you need to set the run test environment variable to true for the test to run. Uh, you can set this variable uh, in the project settings uh, in GitLab or in the commit itself uh, by adding the appropriate variable. So you can do this uh, uh, by using the proper commit if you want to. Also, you can disable the test globally. So if you want to uh, disable uh, all tests globally for all uh, commits, uh, you can just simply comment out or remove the relevant jobs from the pipeline file. So you can see I commented it here, but you can exactly do the same things here, build and test in Argo CD. So you can comment out all of this uh, to the clean role workspace, for example, the test for Argo CD will not be executed. So this is the next uh, approach. And also there is something like uh, CI uh, skip, CI skip uh, uh, is, or CI uh, skips uh, CI uh, to the um, commit message, right? To skip running CI uh, CD for the uh, specific commit. So uh, you can skip test for the commit example uh, commit message so commit message and in the square bracket you have something like ci skip so uh, you can just uh, create a proper commit and 
contains this CI skip dev test will not be executed. And also disabling specific runners. So if you want to disable specific runners, you can uh, use tags to uh, decide which uh, runners should be used to run uh, certain uh, jobs. So in this uh, pipeline, we can see uh, we have a script and then tags, my special runner. So uh, you can use the tag uh, to decide on which runner it will be executed, for example. And uh, you can just, uh, if you want to, you can disable the runner in a GitLab. It's quite easy. So if you will go to settings here and go to the CI CD section, uh, and then expand runners, uh, you can uh, do something like a pause. So you can uh, pause from uh, accepting jobs. So you can pause a runner. You can have more than one runner here and you can decide on which runner you want to run a test, but you can also uh, pause the test and you can uh, set the tax my special uh, runner. And this runner will be here, available here. I provided uh, just a uh, tutorial and I decided that I will show you how to add a runner there. So watch it if you don't know how to add a runner, but you can uh, create a runner uh, that will have a specific tag. And if I will click this pencil here, so you can see this runner has a tag Docker. So uh, if you will change this to Docker, for example, here, and then you can pause this one the test will not be executed because it will be looking for a um, runner that has a tag docker and the docker tag it will find it but then it will uh, check that the uh, runner uh, is paused so it will not execute at all this is the uh, approach that you can also use if you want it so this is the whole solution that is quite easy to understand and you can use it to properly control behavior of your test and thanks to this not every test will be executed every time you make a commit to the project to the repository but instead you control the behavior of your test so thanks to this uh, you do not have to mm, worry about it but you execute it when you want to and when exactly which branch should be tested and also you can schedule it if you want to. I presented it earlier in the previous tutorial, but also there's something like build and pipeline schedule so you can schedule uh, when the uh, job uh, will be actually executed, but uh, not only. Thanks to this uh, tutorial, you have better control over it because it will execute, for example, on Friday at, I don't know, 8 p.m., right? And then it will be uh, testing the whole weekend because, for example, test will be a really, really huge. And it will mm, end at, I don't know, 1st or 2 a.m. in the morning on Monday. Uh, but also, you control uh, which branch will be tested, uh, which release, etc. etc. So, uh, this uh, approach uh, is something that uh, allows you to uh, control uh, it in a uh, very uh, good way, in a just a more granular uh, way. And thanks to this, uh, you, you, you can decide when exactly you want to run the job, run the test and what should be exactly tested, right? So I hope uh, that this allows you to control more your test in GitLab. Fantastic, right? So that's the end of this nice story. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.